Hello and welcome to the Treasure Trove of Curios and I'm Rebecca. Today I'm going to continue going through some of the bulk lot of stuff that I got from the house clean out. I just went and grabbed one of the boxes and started pulling some things out to see what I could show you today. Um, and I came across an awful lot of vases. So I'm going to show you those vases that I pulled out of the box. Some of them are pretty impressive, some of them are a little bit more eh. Um, and then I've got a couple of other things to show you at the end as well. So I'm going to start with this vase with a gorgeous peacock sort of design on it. It's got golds and blues and obviously the green is the main colour. Um, it's got a felt bottom on it so I can't attribute it to any sort of maker so I'm not sure who's made it. But isn't that beautiful? It's really shiny where the where the blue and the green is applied here but then a matte finish throughout most of the rest. I think that is pretty groovy. Next I have got this vase. This is um so it's a nice frosted glass vase and it's got this detailing here that's been applied. Um, this part isn't glass, it's just sort of tacked on. But all of the petals are all intact, which is very impressive. All the petals, all the leaves, they're all intact, which is not often that you come across that. So I was very happy when I found that and saw that everything was still intact. Now some of the less interesting ones. I've got this one here. Cute little vase. And it's got on the bottom a T and an A, which there's a lot of it missing. But I assume that means Taiwan. That's what I'm guessing. I don't think it's like real milk glass or anything, but I'll do some more looking into it. It's got a nice pattern though. Next I have got this one. This is another one that's a little bit eh. It's a very cool shape though. I've got another one that's much bigger than this. Um, not from the same collection. This was um, one from my Nana's which I think is in either the first or the second video that I did. Um, might find that and put the link in the description for you. Uh, it's a similar shape. It's a, like an urn style. Much bigger though. This one just has a number on the bottom there. I'm not sure what that number means. I'm guessing it's just a mould number. Then I have, this one is quite beautiful, it's a small vase, but to me it looks like it is hand painted, and it's beautiful. It's also got the gold detailing around the edge and along the handle and also around the bottom. There's no, um, no markings on it anywhere, it hasn't been signed by an artist or anything but it's a beautiful little jug shaped vase they quite like that one now this one is possibly my favorite one it doesn't really look like much but i really like this one because it's got a fishy on it That's pretty cool, I reckon. I like fishy things. There was a 
a plate that I came across at an op shop one day. I think it was at the, the Kilmore Vinnies in, um, in Victoria. And it was a glass, a glass plate. It was probably about this big. And it was in the shape of a fish. And it was all multicolors. And I was like, oh, this is so cool. It was only like a, it still had its made in China barcode sticker on the bottom of it. It wasn't very, um, anything particularly special. But to me, it was really cool because it was a fishy and it had bright colors. <laughs> And I came back for it. I think they wanted six or eight dollars or something for it. And I thought, I don't really want to pay that for it, seeing as it's still got its made in China barcode on it. Came back, still there, still the same price. I thought, damn it, I was hoping they would have dropped the price a bit. And then the next time I went back and it wasn't there anymore. No fishy for me. <laughs> I don't know what I would have done with it. No idea what I would have done with it. I just thought it was pretty cool because it was colourful and fish. <laughs> Next vase, I've got this one. It's got a floral pattern on it, but um, I'm pretty sure it is transfer. Can't say for certain, but it looks to me like it's transfer. And it doesn't have any markings on it anywhere either. I think I will sell a lot of these smaller ones, um, but I'll do it as a, a bit of a bulk lot. I might sell, say, five together in one go and put them together, make it worthwhile the shipping costs, because, yeah. Anyway, then I've got this one now, i'm sure i've got a second one of this but it's in one of the boxes somewhere so um as a pair these are quite nice they're anchor hocking sorry i'll fix that there we go um anchor hocking the royal ruby and I, i'm pretty sure that these sell for about ten dollars each when they're in good condition and this one is in pretty good condition it's a little bit a bit dirty because I haven't cleaned it yet um, but it is in good condition and I believe the other one also is so that is nice oh I've got my other cat here to come and say hello hold up here's Al He's not very impressed because I'm not holding her very well. I'm trying to get her up into the into the camera. There we go. You grumpy kitty. Yeah. So that's all of the vases that I've got to show you. But I've also got this cute kitty planter. Now, unfortunately, I didn't realize this at the time when I picked it up. But I see it now. It has been repaired. Poor kitty must have lost its head at some point, which is a bit sad. But on the front side, it's been repaired really well, and you can't even see where it's cracked. Where is it? It goes through here somewhere. So it's quite a good repair job on the front anyway, the back not so much, but the front is what, it, what is important, so it's still a usable item. It's pretty cute. And then I've got this. It's a a dish. The cool curved pattern and it's got all these tiles and they're all individually done and tiled. I can't quite work out what the backing is made of though. It's a I don't know. I don't know what you call that stuff. And we have a Made in Japan sticker. Well, I thought that was really quite nice with the the random order of of the tiles. The interesting colour combination with the, the groovy pink ones here with the splatter effect. So I reckon that's pretty nice. 
And then, the last item that I've got for you, speaking of Japan, is this beautiful bowl. Now the bowl is a Noritake bowl. So Noritake is the company which was established in 1904, I think it was, um, in Japan obviously. Now the early pieces are very sought after because they, uh, they were all hand painted, they certainly were not mass produced. Um, but in the 20s they upgraded the way that they did things and so they were able to um, streamline the process and so some of the items w didn't have as much time and detail and put into them. All Norita almost all Norotaki stuff is still quite quite popular and quite sought after and this has got a beautiful design on it. Look at those flowers. Excuse the the Gunji mark on the edge there. And then on the inside there's also the the painting around the rim. It's a bit strange to come across a bowl like this from a just a dinner set by itself. Normally you would come across bowls as a, a set or um, more unusual bowls rather than just a, a, a food bowl. But I still think it's really pretty So that's all I've got for you today. I have some very exciting plans coming up for the channel, some very interesting videos that I've got planned to do. So they will be coming out very soon. So I'll be seeing you in another four days time when the next video comes out. If you like this video and want to see more of the interesting things that I come across, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified when there's another video out, but it will be every four days. So I hope you're all keeping well and I'll talk to you again soon. Ta-ra!